kitty cats plus kids equal fun. Throw in some music and you've got a show that benefits a great cause. Pam Penix here from the UA School of Music to tell us more about it. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. It's great to be here. Yeah, you've got an exciting show about to kick off, don't I you? I do. It's tomorrow night at 6 o'clock at the Moody Concert Hall. And actually, this is music. It's a commission. Uh, it was written by Chris Brubeck, who was son of the late Dave Brubeck. So it's going to be a wonderful, it's, it's really a musical drama. It's very family oriented. Uh, it features, we have actually two Russian musicians as well who have been here before on the Celebrity Series. So wow. a trumpeter, Vlad uh, Laverick, and a flutist, Maxime Rupsoff. And of course, we have our uh, UA faculty involved as well. It was directed by Paul Looney. And uh, it's really, it's very much, um, like I said, family oriented and um, I think it's going to be a wonderful story, and we just hope that people will come out. Now, it has a unique base in history. It's, it's actually related to cats that are in a museum in Russia. Can you tell us a little bit about how this came together? So uh, how this came together is the, the Russian musicians, first of all, have been here before on the Celebrity Series, and their manager wrote a book about the cats in the Hermitage Museum, which is a very famous old museum in St. Petersburg, Russia. And so, you know, from this book, she has created this musical drama, and of course, you know, it was commissioned by Chris Brubeck, but it's, it's really a collaborative effort between the Russian musicians that have been here before and her knowledge of Russia and the cats, which uh, have been in that museum for 300 years mm -hmm. since Catherine the Great. They have a job, don't they? They do. I mean, they keep the vermin and the rats and whatever <laughs> away from those masterpieces. <laughs> yes. There's about 70 cats that are in the museum, is that right, at, at most times? And that's their job is to keep all the rats and everything away. That is true. And the musical is kind of the story about, about that. About that. Yes, now, it is. The U.A. Uh, Rye School was also involved in this as well? Absolutely. In fact, the, uh, the Russian musicians that were here before, they uh, interacted with the Rise School of Music because they, it, it's, um, in Russia, children with disabilities are not mainstream like they are here. So this has really been a learning experience for these Russian musicians to take back to their country and to interact with children, you know, such as some of the children that are at Rise. So Martha Cook uh, at Rise and Don Sandell, the music therapist, have been very, very key in this. Uh, this actually has been really in the planning stage for over a year. Uh, a group has already gone to St. Petersburg and had, they had a, a workshop in September. So this is actually the world premiere of the piece. After it leaves here, it goes to Washington, D.C. to the National Gallery, and then it will end up uh, St. Petersburg in the Hermitage uh, Museum at the day, on the Day of the Cats well, in April. Well, it's going to be a wonderful event, fun for the whole family. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank we you. appreciate you being here, and you all at home can catch the Hermitage Cats musical tomorrow. March 6th at UA's Moody Concert Hall. The show starts at 6 o'clock. For tickets, call that number 205-348-7111 or you can order them online at uamusic.tix.com.